Hi guys, Christy124 back with another video, and this is going to be part 3 of my anime DVD collection. Um, I wanted to stop it at the Ghibli's collection because um, this is my favorite collection that I'm about to get to because I, I'm actually getting more of these Ghibli films in the next few weeks, which is going to be amazing. I'm getting Kiki's Delivery Service, um, Castle in the Sky, and even some new movies that are coming, you know. I have them on tape, but I don't really have them on DVD, but I can't wait to get them. I'm even getting Pompoco, so yeah, but I can't wait to wait to get them. But anyway, right now, I'm just going to show you what I got for now. For now. Then you never know, I might do a unboxing or re-show you all my collection, you know, again. So anyway, let's get started. So what I was about to show you, and or I showed you in the third second part, is Spirit Away. Really good film. This is a film that everybody should really start off with. That, either that or House Moving Castle. Just being real. Because they're both really good. But most people probably seen um, Spirited Away first. Okay, next up is My Neighbor Totoro. A film that is just not for me. And if I was younger, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more. But I watched it and I just, eh, not my fave. I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more if I was six or seven, so... Yeah, not a film for me. Um, Whisper of the Heart. A film that I was kind of really disappointed with. It was more of a slice of life type film. I, it's funny how they kind of clickbait you on the cover and everything. Front cover and the back. But to me, um, I just wasn't a big fan. I hated how it was just a slice of life movie. It wasn't really something with adventure in there that much. So yeah. I didn't really like it too much, but I did like On Country Road Song. That was a really good one. I loved that. Um, but this is what I think Whisper of Heart should have been. And that is the, Cat's Re the Cat Returns. This is basically like a sequel to Whisper of the Heart. But it's something I wish the Whis Whisper of the Heart was. Um, you know, there could be some things that could have been better in the this film. But other than that, I liked how there was a lot more adventure. And there was a lot more action. It was just a lot more interesting. What's Real Heart was just this cliche type of girl life, slice, slice of life type stuff. So, yeah. I didn't really like it too much. Sadly, a lot of these Ghibli films are, are slice of life. I like more action like Spirit Away and How's Moving Castle and The Cat Returns. And especially Princess Mononoke, which is one of my favorite Ghibli films of all time. But anyway, speaking of How's Moving Castle, we got... This, now, I'm going to re-get it, mainly so I can get it in the G-Kid format, mainly. But, um, yeah. House Moving Castle, really good film. I would watch this one over and over again. It's really good. Ponyo. Really, um, interesting film. I think the more I think about the film, the more I like it. But when I first watched it, I wasn't too big of a fan of it. But I think if I watched it again, I probably would enjoy it more. But... It was pretty decent, you know, Ponyo. It's kind of like a little bit excitement of The Little Mermaid. That's basically what it's like. Okay, next up we got Princess Mononoke. Like I said, one of my absolute favorite anime films of all time. In general, to be honest. Which is amazing. Now, there is another film that if you like Princess Mononoke, you're going to love the other one. But I will show you that um, as soon as I probably... Like, I'll show you that when we get to it. It's not in the G-Kid format, sadly. Okay, um, Porco Rosso. This is a film I thought there was going to be a lot more action, but like I said, it did like Whisper of Heart was. It turned into a slice of life. You, uh, like, you think it's going to be a lot more serious and have a lot more action in it, but it, ten it tended to turn into, like, this old type of early 1900s slice of life, so, yeah. Not a big fan of that. Then you got The Wind Rises. Probably, I'm sorry guys, now this is going to kill you guys. I do not like The Wind Rises. When I watched it, I thought it was boring and generic. I just wasn't a big fan of it. And to me, it's probably the worst Ghibli film, film I have ever seen. And I know a lot of people are going to say, what are you talking about, man? That's great animation, great story, and all this stuff. I'm sorry. But the main thing that really did piss me off is when he ends up with a love interest. They had no dynamic. No love. 
they, there was no bond much at all. Like, legit. It was very generic, and it was so rushed. And it's like, everything about this movie felt rushed, be on, to be honest. And this probably was over a two-hour movie, but it felt rushed and very boring. In the beginning, it was interesting, but it just kept getting worse and worse for me. I did not like it. It was just boring. That's why I, I don't understand all the love for it. I really don't understand it. I watched it once, and that was all I wanted. Tales from Ursia. Now, this is a film that is really good towards the end. In the beginning, it's so fucking slow pace. It really is. Very slow pace. But, other than that, it's really good. Secret World of Variety. Now, I'm going to be re-getting this mainly because I want the fucking slipcover. I would like to get the slipcover cover separate, but I found a guy selling it that has a slipcover, so I'm going to get it. It's cheap, so it's not much. It's only 2 or $3, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get it. Because I hate how Amazon gave me a, a this um, movie with no slipcover. Because all the other films have slipcovers, pretty much, so yeah. But this doesn't bother me. From up on Toppy's, Pop, Poppy's Hill, um, this is fine because it's black. But, you know. Um. Anyway, I enjoyed this film. It was fun. I, I definitely would watch it again. It was actually pretty decent and good. It's crazy how they thought that they were brother and sister. And they fell in love. And they, they were like, we can't marry each other because we're siblings. But no, they're not. They're not siblings. So they can be together. Yay. Okay, When Marnie Was Here... This is a really good film. It's a must watch. You really shouldn't watch it, but you might cry. And I don't mean in a, in a depressing way. It's not too sad. But then at the same time, it does get a tiny bit sad. But it's not too bad to the point where you, you'll be crying so bad. No. I cried towards the end. Mainly because of it was so touching and emotional. But it's a really good film. I would watch it again. It's really good. Um... Padma Inverter, one of my one of my favorite um, anime films besides Prince Mononoke, is a really good um, film. I really need to watch it again because I it was such a really good film. I be honest, I might watch it sooner because I really enjoyed it. It's such a great film. And I love the slipcover for it. I love the fucking slipcover. I love it. And weathering with you. This is a film that I still have not seen yet. I mean, um, I've seen clips, but I never really actually watched the full thing. But basically, they say Weathering With You is better than your name. But, I don't know. Haven't seen it, so I can't say much. And I also haven't seen your name. Dear King, this is when we get into the Blu-rays selection. Because sometimes it's easier to get Blu-rays because DVDs is hard to get. I, this probably, I'm excited to watch this because this looks like it's going to remind me of Princess Mononoke. So I can't wait to watch it. And then, Bell, which I got this week. And I can't wait to fucking watch it. Looks really good. I need to watch it soon. So yeah, probably need to watch it really soon. Okay, this is the movie I was talking about that if you love Princess Mononoke, you'll love this film. And that is Nazca the Valley of the Wind. This is Nerd G Kids slash Disney film. It's a really good film. If you really like Princess Mononoke, you're going to love this one. Promise you. I still like Princess Mononoke more, but this film is also a really good one. It really is. It does get kind of creepy a little bit with her wanting to protect the weird insects. But, you know. Now, I'm going to be regaining this because of my slip cover. My rabbit chewed it, but... But other than that, Big Fish and Beckoning is a really good, really good film. Um, it's definitely a, a, a watch again, because it's, a, it's actually a Chinese film. It's not Japanese. It's Chinese. And, um, it's really good. Really good. I wish they would make more Chinese animated films. I really would wish they would. Okay, next up we got Your Name. I'm, I'm going to re-get it be, to get the slipcover, because I really want the slipcover for it. But, yeah. But Your Name is a, like... It looks really good. I have not seen it yet, but I need to watch it. Grave of the Fireflies. Yep, I got this. Um, very depressing, but I didn't cry, thankfully. 
But um, it isn't really a happy type of movie. I promise you that. Things that happen in it is very fucking dark. Very dark. Well, probably one of the most darkest Ghibli films I've watched. It's basically about war and everything and everybody dying. It's, it's, it's fucked up. Um, Ninja. Wrath of the Ninja. The Yotanen movie. Yep, I got this. I watched it and uh, it was alright. Not something I would watch again, most likely. Okay. Now, um... I will show you these. These are actually library stuff, but I'll show you them anyway. Uh, this is, um, Maraud, I think. This is serious. You need to watch it. Ergo Proxy. You need to watch this one. This one looks really good. And, um, I think last but not least. Well, not last. This is Library of War. Interesting, I still haven't watched that yet, but I have watched this one, and that is The Kids on the Slope. Um, yeah, I, I liked it. It was pretty decent. Okay. But, guys, okay, these are not really animes, but I'm going to go through them anyway. Shit, sorry about that, guys. So, the first one we got is My Childhood. This is all my childhood right here. All these movies are my childhood. Even Thundercats is my childhood. So, um, let's get to it. Danny Phantom, The Complete Series. Not my first Nickelodeon show I watched when I was a kid. To be honest, I watched this later in my life. Probably when I was around 12 or so. But when I was like, um, I think 7 or 6 or so. Um, I watched Spongebob right here. But I'll show you the ones that... Okay, My Life Teenage Robot, same thing with Danny Phantom. I didn't really get to it, get into it until my later years when I was a kid. But I really enjoyed my life. Back then, I was the type of girl that didn't want to watch anything girly. And I thought my life was kind of girly. But the more I watched it, the more I noticed it's not really that girly. In my opinion, that is. Season 2. And then, um, Season 3. Okay. Hey Arnold, the movie. I actually haven't really watched Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold be honest i watched a few episodes when i was a young kid but i never really got into the show interesting spongebob the first season this is now this is my childhood right here spongebob i've watched this when i was like four or five years old that's how young it's been um first season second season Third season, and this is when we get into the later seasons that where people don't really like it as much. But I, I still liked it all the way up until season seven. That's when the show, to me, season six to seven is when the show started getting really bad. But I enjoyed, I enjoyed six and seven, season four, especially season. Like I enjoyed, I think the season that I enjoyed the most was probably season, season up to season five to six. Um, here's season five. And then, um, season six and season seven will be coming out on um, coming to me shortly. I am going to get that last season. Now, when it gets to season eight and stuff, that's when things really start getting bad for me, um, when it comes to the show. And then next up is, um, the SpongeBob movie collection. The first two movies. The first one, of course, is the best because that's the series finale. So, yeah. And then I wanted to get this because this is kind of like memories. This is Nicktoons Halloween. Which I probably need to watch it. Halloween's coming up. <laughs> it really is. And then next up, I got Garfield and Friends. This is also childhood. And then one of my favorite 80s shows that my parents got me into because they grew up in the 80s. So yeah. And that is um, Thundercats. The complete series. Yeah, they definitely got me into it. And Thundercats, um, the original, was really good. And, and then you got the remake. Which is a shame that they never finished it. It got cancelled back in the day. Which is a shame. I really want Thundercats to come back. Because I enjoyed the remake. Even though it didn't follow the original, sadly. So yeah, season one. I think this is all season one. I think these are all season one. This is season one, book one, book two. 
and book three. After that, they got it got canceled, because mainly because they were mainly working on toys. So yeah. All right, guys. Um, that's it for my um anime collection and a little bit of my Nickelodeon stuff and stuff like that. But anyway, um, guys, yeah, I do have Shiva down here. So yeah, and a little bit of unopened copy of Inuyasha season two, and yeah. Just trying to show you. Then here's Frozen. I made a copy of, even though it's not originally on tape. But anyway, guys, um, I'll check you guys in the next video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this third part. I will be making this is going to be the end for my anime collection. Well, at least for my DVDs. My my um other stuff is manga. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Bye.